Hi, Kathy here at Creating Simpler Life. Today I am going to share with you my Simple Crochet Market Bag. I'm making these crochet spring market bags as gifts for a lot of people for this Easter because we have a new law here in New York State no more plastic bags and this is a great uh, little bag it could be used for the farmers market it could be used for the beach there's so many different purposes but I use it mostly for produce when you go grocery shopping You need one full skein of cotton yarn and maybe about, a, I, I didn't really measure how much of the second skein, but I'd say a third at least of the second skein to do the border at the top. So the bag part is done with the first skein and the border and the handle are done with the second skein. Now these two skeins I have here don't have any labels on them, but they are sugar and cream yarn, because that is the only kind of cotton yarn that I really use ever. And I'm gonna be making another one out of this multicolor yarn, but today I'm using the bright pink yarn because I think it's gonna be easier for you to see the stitches. I'm going to do a border with the off-white yarn. I know that's a little hard to see, but it's really a straightforward border, so I don't think that's gonna to be too big of a problem. You'll also need a small pair of scissors, a yarn needle and a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. I do get this done uh, during one good movie. So about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how many breaks I take. And that's it. So I'm gonna go set up and get started. Okay, so we're gonna just take our ball of yarn and we're going to loop on. And I'm just going to put the bowl of yarn in that box down there. I have this blanket on my lap to hopefully make it so that you could see better. Now we're going to chain, that was one, two, three, four, five chains. And we're going to connect with a slip stitch to create a loop. Simple. Five chains, slip stitch to connect create a loop. Now we are going to chain five and we're going to triple crochet right into the center of the loop. We're going to chain two and triple crochet right into the center of the loop. Chain two triple crochet into the center of the loop, chain two, triple crochet into the center of the loop. That's our fifth one. The first one does count, so that's one, two, three, four, five so far. We have one more to do, so we chain two, triple crochet into the center of the loop. We're going to chain two more and slip stitch connect to the first five that we did. So after we slip stitch connect, we're going to chain five again. And we're going to triple crochet into that first loop. Part of that five counts as your first triple crochet. So now I have basically two triple crochets. And then we're going to chain two and we're going to triple crochet into the next little loop, that one. And now I'm going to chain two again and then crochet, triple crochet back into that same loop. So chain two and then triple, triple crochet back into that loop. And I'm going to do that all the way around. So I'm going to chain two more, triple crochet into this loop chain two more, triple crochet into that loop. So I'm doing two triple crochets into each little loop. 
with two chain stitches in between all the way around and if you've done it correctly you should have 12 triple crochets two now I'm going to move to the next loop triple crochet in chain two triple crochet in So what makes this bag different than a lot of the other bags I've seen is the fact that we're starting at the bottom. Instead of the top. I only have two left. Oops. Two. And at the very end, two more chain stitches. Uh, so one thing about this cotton yarn. And slip stitch connect. And that's where we're at so far. Okay, now the third round. So we've done the circle. Round one had six triple crochets. Round two had 12. Now the third round, we're going to actually chain seven. And we're gonna triple crochet into that first loop. And we're going to do exactly the same thing, except this time we're going to have four chain stitches in between each triple crochet. So one, two, three, four triple crochet. One, two, three, four, triple crochet. One, two, three, four, triple crochet. Again, it's two triple crochets in each little loop with four chain stitches in between. And yes, it's going to be really, really loopy, and that's exactly what we're looking for. And when you're done going around this time, you should have 24 triple crochets. Okay, and when you get to the end, do that last four chains and slip stitch connect to that original one that you did. And here's what we have so far. Try to flatten it out on my lap here. Oops. Okay, that's what we have so far. So there should be 24 going around. The first chain of seven that you made counts as one triple crochet. Now we're going to change our stitch. What we're, going, we're done with the triple crochet. What we're now going to do is we're going to start to work in the round. So we chain seven. Okay, so this one counts as this loop. 
and we're going to go to the next loop and just single crochet. We're going to chain seven. Okay, go to the next loop and just do a single crochet. See, and we're just making this like looped netting. We're going to chain seven. Go to this next loop and single crochet. And I didn't put a marker in, it doesn't matter. We are just going to continue to go around and around and around and around until this gets a bat big enough to cover my lap. Okay, so we're just going, and it, this is the tedious part. The hard part is done. This is easy, but it's tedious. You just have to make sure that you're chaining seven and single crocheting in each and every loop all the way around. And you're gonna work in the round completely from now on. So this is the part where now I can really kind of relax and watch a movie. I'm watching Eddie the Eagle today. That's the movie I chose to watch. Um, it's an inspirational movie. If you've never seen it, check it out. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do from here on out is just chain seven and single crochet into the next loop. And just, I haven't even gone once around yet. I could tell that one, two, three here. This is where I started right here. So I'm gonna go once around and then I'll show you and then we'll keep going. Okay, so now I'm back pretty much where I started. But what I'm going to do is just continue. So I'm gonna chain seven. And just now, instead of connecting, right, which is what we normally would have done, it's sort of like connecting, but I'm just gonna single crochet into the loop and chain seven and then go into the next loop and continue around and around and around. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn my movie on now and I'm gonna sit and relax. I'll keep recording, but I'll probably speed up through this spot and maybe um, stop the movie every now and then just to show you where I'm at. your color left you're just gonna have to stop and you just single crocheted one in that hole you're gonna single crochet a second time when you decide that your bag is big enough right it fits on my lap pretty good so do two single crochets and then chain two then you're gonna go into the next one loop and do two single crochets and chain two now we changed up our stitch. What we're doing now is we're making a border. Okay, so two single crochets and then chain two in each loop around. Two single crochets and chain two. Single crochet, single crochet, chain two. And every hole going around. We're just pulling the bag together now. So two single crochets, then two chains, and every loop around. If I didn't leave enough, I'll have to pull this out and go back. Hopefully I left enough. Should be enough, I'm close. Oh no, I did leave enough, because here I am. I'm back at my two single crochets, and I just chained my, I, so I did my two single crochets in this loop, I chained two and I'm just going to come over and slip stitch to connect. I have a little extra that I don't need, but I'm going to cut. And 
and pull that tight. So now I went around the top of my bag. You can see the bag here. So that last time around was two single crochets and two chains. Two single crochets in each loop with two chains in between. And that just gave us our top base. Now I'm going to switch to my cream, make a loop. So I'm going to slip stitch connect, starting in this little loop here, okay? And chain one, and then I'm gonna do two single crochets, one, two. Now I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, then two in the hole, and then in the next two stitches, and then two in the space. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. Let me show you that a little bit better. So, so I'm gonna do two in this space here where the chains were. One, two. Then where the single crochets were, I'm gonna actually go into the stitch and single crochet two. So two single crochets where the chains were and then two single crochets into the other two single crochets. And you're gonna do that all the way around. So you have a whole border of single crochets going around. And then when you finally reach the original one, you'll slip stitch connect. Okay, so again, now you have a nice border around the top of the bag. I'm gonna do another row all the way around. So chain one and single crochet all the way around. So I went all the way around and for me, that was 98. We're going to start making our uh, straps and we're going to chain 50. We're gonna count here 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We're gonna go into the 25th spot and we're gonna single crochet. And we're gonna single crochet for 24 stitches. Three, four, five, I mean 25, six, 23, 24, 25. Okay, and now we're gonna cro uh, chain 50 again. Five, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And nothing has to be perfect, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so now we're gonna count 24 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We're gonna single crochet into the 25th. And if we did it right, it should be about 24, 25. It doesn't have to be perfect, and it's fine if it's not. So that was one, two, three, 23, 24, and 25, perfect. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna continue with our single crochet around the handle. But we're just gonna continue right around. We're building our handles now. So it's one single crochet in every chain. 
So you could make the handle longer by making more chains. You could make the bag bigger by adding more of the net loops. You could make this handle thicker than I'm going to be making it by just adding more rows of single crochet. There's a lot of different things you could do. And you can see, that's just one layer for the handle. Okay. And you're just gonna continue with your single crochet all the way to the other's handle on the other side. And again, on this side, same thing. Single crochet in each chain around the handle. So this crochet pattern uses chain stitch, single crochet, and triple crochet. That's it, super simple. So now I'm back to where I originally started. And I'm still gonna continue because I wanna give my handles one more row for a little bit more stability. And if you want it even more stable, you could give it a third row. I just do two. And just so you can see, it makes the handles just a, a, a thicker, nice and thick, you know, better for uh, carrying some weight with. Okay, so we're on the home stretch here. I'm just finishing the last couple of stitches because I'm coming up on the, the handle where I started, the top part. And I am almost done. So I'm done right here is where I'm going to take my little scissors, cut, and do a slip stitch, and then pull it into a knot. And that's it, the bag is done. So now what I have to do is just take the yarn needle quickly and pull in all, weave in all these little loose ends. I like to weave them in on the inside. And I like to go back and forth so that they don't pull out very easily. And I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like my spring market bag. Appreciate you. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.